Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. Bernie, what's wrong? Nothing, sweetie. Oh, my God. You're the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. I'm thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical. Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. I'm so glad you've come back into my life, even if you did try to kill me. I'm so excited! What are we doing here? We're going to have fun! Fun! Oh, are we? Yes! It's a four-letter word, I know, but we can still try. Look, more people want me dead than alive. I'm working for the Mafia. The police and the government agency are both on my case. I kill and steal to scrape together a living so that my cousin can fritter it away online and pay off debts. And all the while, people are trying to kill us. What is fun? Honey, you are stressed. Oh. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Goodbye, Florian. No, 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 you don't, Nico. I need you. I need you to come on this boat trip with me. I need to talk to someone who truly knows me. When I knew you, you were training to be a shepherd. And you wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> Actually, maybe it does all make sense. You understand me. Both of me. Come on, Bryce accidentally let the keys on purpose somewhere I could steal them. You drive, I'll work on my tan. My midriff is really pale. All right, let's have fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Not toward that beach, Nico. Take Bernie to Coastal Firefly Island. All right. Nico, yeah, this is the time-based sensitive mission I was talking about. Bryce is pulling his hair out over this blackmail thing. His wife is getting on his back about yours truly. I think she suspects. It's a nightmare. I don't know how else I can help you. Look how long it took me to find you. I know, sweetie. Let's forget about him and have some F U N. So how is this gonna go horribly wrong? I wonder. Are there people gonna try to kill us during this? I mean, probably something to that effect. I can't imagine we're going for a peaceful boat ride in the midst of a GTA game. Right here. Drop anchor, skipper. Ahoy, sailor! Cute guys off the oh, shit. brow. Mm. Scratch that. Not so cute. Rushni Rusi. Let me see. They don't look like they're on the pleasure course. Oh shit, they got guns. They got guns. Again with the fucking Dimitri? We're going after them. Take out Dimitri's men. Alright. I, I, I guess I can't switch the pistol if I have an SMG. Freak out about his boat. This was meant to be our fun day, Nico. Why does everything that's meant to be fun have to be so miserable? I don't know. We just got to get these guys or they'll just come back. I told you that there was no time for this. People are after me, and I have to stay alert. You, Bernie, are in this too. You have to keep your eyes open. They're wide open, sweetie. I'm focused. 100%. Let's get them. Okay, so does it pay to open fire on them, or should I just follow them for now? I never know what to do when I chase people anymore. Out of the way, boat. Out of the way. Really? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I know it's been badly damaged. What can I do about that? That fucking boat hit me. I gotta swim all the way back to shore? Are you serious? 
Can I use the phone on this, please? <laughs> okay. Not my fault that stupid boat had to be there. Head out to sea, sailor! Go all the way back, because there's no fucking checkpoint with this mission. There are some great things playing on Burlesque at the moment. Musicals aren't really my thing, Bernie. You should go with Price. Price would never be seen with me at a play. People would ask questions. I get all the stress of having a man, but none of the perks. That's my tragedy. I knew I was taking the turn to why, but I didn't think there'd be another boat there to crash into. Fucking hell. I mean, it's not a lot of work to have to redo, but it's still goddamn annoying, in my opinion. Perfect, sweetie. Let's stop. I right, skipped that. We already saw it. Pedal the metal. Well, I'm not gonna waste my bullets if I can't actually kill them till we reach our destination. You know, that haters, just doesn't pay. Haters. This city is full of haters. I just don't get it. I came here because it was meant to be the most progressive city in the world. But it just isn't. Why don't I just up and leave for San Piero? They'd understand me there. We don't go oh no, not again. Not fucking again. We could even be in self there. Yeah, May I stay to the right? So they go, really they're gonna means. veer off to the right anyway? Does that make more sense? Yeah, no need to go with the left. They're, they're, they're gonna come back around. Yep, see what I mean? Oh, these guys are animals. Weaving in between the boats and all that shit. Whoa, shit. Do they really think they can open fire on me and get away with it? Fine, don't you, Nico? So not within, within good shooting range, are we not? Shit. Always gonna hit that for a second. I've never civilian boat, are you serious? Get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Oof. See, I'm not within a good shooting range, so I don't think it pays to start unloading bullets yet. Shit. Fuck! It's not my fault, this boat's really hard to control. It's not my fucking fault. They got away from you, babe. Come on, give me the give him the retry. Fucking hell. I'm not okay with this. Go toward the headland. That's where the best rays are going to be. Again, this game is full of bullshit game design. I cannot stand bullshit game design. No checkpoints throughout any of the missions. And this boat handles like a... It just fucking handles terribly. How am I supposed to make all these tight turns with this fucking terrible boat? It doesn't make any goddamn sense how I'm supposed to make these turns. This is as good a spot as any. Yeah, 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 Bernie. Not now. Skip that. Skip, move on. Third time. Alright, so I can't even shoot them until the Coast Guard gets involved or whatever. Well, at least I know I don't have to waste my bullets now. I 
So maybe stay towards the left in between the bridge and the barge. Like right here. Watch those buoys though, shit. Ooh. I like the slow mo effect. Nice. Stunt jump completed. Cool. Not that I really care about that, but 49 stunt jumps left to do. Alright. Alright. Whatever, we're still on the right path to catch them, I think. Yeah, gotta come back around, I know that much. Yep, here they come. I have to remember, I don't have to directly follow them, I just have to stay, keep, keep up with them, you know? against them, not me. Whoa, shit. Okay. What caused them to blow up? They have reached land. Okay, so now what? We've scared them off the water, Nico. I'll be just been getting rid of them. All right. Yeah, I was hoping they can't get any, any, way any further, though. That's gonna really suck if that's the case. Get over the wall, Nico. Come on. Oh, you're not the guy. You're the guy. Okay, two more to go. Somebody take this bunker down. Where is he? Oh, there. You can run away from me. God damn it. How do I get down there? Excuse me? I think I see him over there. Yep. Go back to Bernie, alright. There's the boat, okay. Come on, Nico, get a move on. We got a two-star one though. Hero returns from battle. They're not a problem anymore. Nico, you are my knight in shining armor. Thank you. I'm sorry our fun day wasn't so very much fun. See you soon. Okay, that's it. You gotta take See. off? Okay then. <laughs> Bye, Bernie. That's it, cool. Get up there, Nico. Alright, I guess we'll try to do that stupid mission where we, where we abduct the woman again, because I, I imagine that has to get done at some point, right? First, I need a car. Get out. All right, so let's see. Call Mop Daughter. I 
I'm uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist the bargain. Show me the way. Oh crap, I'm all the way over here, right? We always that shit. We went all the way around to the first island? God damn. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I gotta drive all the way back to the third island. God damn it, Bernie. Look where your exploits have gotten us to. I have to do a whole shit ton of driving now. Alright, so apologies, we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually, guys. Please be patient. Alright, so what can I talk about in the meantime? I don't know. There's not really much to talk about, because... Ah, oh, shit! I mean, at this time of recording, it's June 1st, not while it's happening right now in my life or in the gaming community. I mean, yes, we're 18 days out from The Last of Us Part 2, which I've been looking forward to for years now. These next 18 days are going to be torture, by the way, because we're having to wait for this damn game. It really is going to be torture. I'm just hoping and praying to not delay it again, because it's been delayed far long fuck enough. It really has been. But the good news is I heard that it takes a very long time to complete this main story. Around 40 hours, that's incredible. So I really wish more games were like that. Single player experiences would last about 40 hours or something, that'd be great. More often than not, get something that only lasts an average of six hours, like COD campaigns or whatever. That's not cool, developers. Really not cool. We're paying $60 up front, and you can't give us something that lasts at least double-digit hours? Come on. Yes, I do understand that most of these games are pride themselves on the multiplayer aspects, because bling bling and the microtransactions and all that shit, but... I don't care about multiplayer so much, I really don't. I was never a competitive person to begin with. Because growing up, my, my multiplayer components regard playing against a person in the same room next to me. That's all it was. There was no online capabilities or anything like that. It was split-screen multiplayer, that was it. So when online gaming became a thing, I never really embraced it when it first started. And even to this day, I never really don't embrace it. Because a lot of people I played with or even against, they're assholes. People just take gaming too seriously. There's so many assholes that play games online in PvP modes, it's unbelievable. It's the main reason I don't play is because of the toxicity, believe it or not. not. Not to do with the games themselves, just I really don't like the toxicity. My very first experience with online gaming, by the way, was Battlefield 2. Because Game, um, game, oh, was it? game Informer gave it this PC Game of the Month award. I thought, alright, that's cool, let me go purchase it and figure it out. And this was a PC exclusive, by the way, Battlefield 2. And I bought it and realized, oh shit, this is a multiplayer only game. Alright, oh well, I already opened it, I can't return it, might as well see what this is about. I got into it for a little bit, but then, even though there's no voice chat in the game, people would just type out messages back then. Like, using the keyboard to type out messages. Oh my god, the things they said were so toxic and disgusting. I know that's part of the culture that we embrace now, that people are disgusting in chats and stuff, but... Regardless, this was the first time I ever did this, and it really turned me off. Not to mention Battlefield 2, the gameplay was really terrible as well. Can we skip this? I say that because it's one of the only games I've ever played where if you reload a clip that still has bullets in it, the, the bullets don't recycle to, the, the, to your bullet count. 
Instead, you lose all the remaining ammo. Oh, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with I've heard this already. Friends, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. Please don't tell her that you're abducting her. That's just making it so much worse. How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only... Oh, shit. You fucking retard! Hey, don't insult me like that. I'll blow your brains out, bitch. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! That's it, fuck with. I am calling daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're oh, the phone, he did throw the phone bitch. now. You're coming with me. I didn't realize that. Hey, fucker, you sick bastard, you creep! Can you drive, fucker? Not when you grab the wheel! Okay, so how am I supposed to avoid what happened last time? I really don't know. You can't drive when I got the wheel! You don't got it for long! Is there a way to, like, punch her out or something? Knock her out? Scratch your fucking eyes out! Scratch my fucking balls! Oh my god, lady, you gotta chill. It's just business. Hold the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one inch punch with fast cars and guns. Wait, don't grab the wheel again, please. Oh, fucking hell, what did I just say? You're gonna get us both killed at this rate, Going lady. Back to my daddy. Only when he pays the fucking ransom. Look what you did! Look what you fucking did again! You're fucking with the wrong girl, asshole! I am Gracie Ancelotti and I- ah! You're a fucking amateur! Get out of the car, Nico! Why can't you get out of the car? God damn it. How am I supposed to drive her all the way across the city if the bitch keeps grabbing the fucking wheel? I don't get it. I can't control the car if she fucking keeps grabbing the wheel like that. She's gonna cause me to crash every single time. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. Who calls about the car? The one with Shut the up, Gracie. Where are you going? Get back in. And seriously, why does the car keep flipping over like that? It's not even fair. I'm Gracie, by the way. Hey, Gracie, why are you selling this car? Seems pretty good. Let's just say that me and the LCPD have had a few disagreements about blood alcohol levels. How's a girl meant to get back I can to see that. after a big night out in Algonquin if she's not drunk driving? She could stay sober. You sound like my dad. Anyway, you clearly have not been to Mason at night. There's no such thing as sober in that place. No fucking way. If I stick to booze, it's a miracle. I couldn't get in at first, but now that I know Tony, it isn't a problem. You should calm down one night. I don't know if it would be my scene. I'll tell everyone you're a big Russian oil guy or an arms dealer. We'll get fucked up in the love. I need to get body work done. You're screwed. We'll shut up, lady. I barely get compensated big time for this fucking mission. I swear so, to God. So, you like the car? I'm not after the car. I'm after you. I mean this is a kidnapping. Control yourself, remain calm, and you might just walk away from this with your life. Oh my fucking god, you fucking pervert! That's it, 
say fuck when I can call it daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! I mean, is there, there like an no alternate route me? I could take? Yeah, I don't think there is. There has to be a way to shut her up or something, right? I don't know. Chill out before I pull this trigger and make you real fucking chill. So much trouble, Limpsick. My daddy loves his little girl. I, mean, I could go slower, but then I'd probably still flip over anyway. Fuck you! You ain't taking me nowhere! My god, it's fucking walls. They're the problem, these fucking walls. Sorry, shit balls! Fuck you, bitch! People said this was a fun mission. This is not fun. Daddy ain't here now. Wait, the banter is fun, but not the actual I gameplay. The wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Hanselotti, and I shut up, piece of glass. Okay, so all I had to do was just wait a bit longer. Fucking hell, I ain't know that. I ain't know that. Should have done it to begin with, Nico. It would have been done ages ago. One Rasta. Yo, you want to go down at a strip club, Mr. Mencia? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and uh, <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. Let's speak soon, though, huh? All right, so let's just drop off this bitch already and be done with it. It's so much easier when someone's not grabbing the fucking wheel. Ah, oh, it's right here. Where? Oh, here? Oh, the alley? Okay, the alley. Oh, you want me to drive up a bit further? Alright, fine. All right, what? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. <laughs> Damn straight. Not worth it. 95, 3500, or whatever that number is, not worth it. Okay, looks like our only mission is something with Jimmy again. Yep, that's all we got. But guys, it's gonna have to wait till next time. We're at, we're at a deadline here. Alright, so I think you get too mad this time, but still, some of these mechanics are just so terrible. You, you have to agree with me, right? They really are. No checkpoints throughout the missions. And sometimes these missions drag on for a very long time, so you could lose all your damn progress. Like the three of Clover mission, I almost died repeatedly during that segment. If I, if I would have died, I had to do the whole thing over again, picking up the guys probably, driving all the way to the bank. Unbelievable. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.